Should you be creating shareholder value? And I want to raise this question because I think when you're putting your strategic plan together, you need to have a clear idea what your priorities are. And I think the uh, assumption that the whole focus should be on creating shareholder value is perhaps misplaced. And it's certainly misplaced in the second decade of the 21st century. So what do we mean by shareholder value? Well, it's the value delivered to the owners of the firm due to the ability of management to increase sales and earnings. The increased sales and earnings lead to increased cash flow, which leads to increased dividends and ultimately capital value. Well, that's all great so far as it goes. But how do you measure it? Well, you can measure shareholder value by the increase in the net assets, the, uh, the equity assets on the balance sheet. You can measure it by the return on capital employed, ROCE. Uh, it's often in public companies reflected by an increasing share price. But it doesn't actually automatically benefit customers or employees. So while creating shareholder value is one of the goals of a strategic plan, there is no requirement to maximise shareholder value. And I think this is where the train comes off the rails because people look at uh, creation of shareholder value and don't think about it in any other terms than maximization. Whereas I think it should be more of an optimization if indeed it's a specific goal at all. Management essentially have got four constituents to address. Obviously, the owners and the shareholders. But just as importantly, they've got their employees. These are people who are putting everything they can give into the business. Yes, they get paid for it, but they don't get paid half as well as the CEO does, certainly in most cases. Um, and they work very, very hard indeed. The suppliers and channel partners also create considerable value for the firm and should be treated with respect and as partners. And of course, the most important constituent of them all is the customer. And I think this is where a lot of companies have completely lost sight of their goals and their objectives. Let me ask you a question, which is, what is the purpose of a company? Peter Drucker in 1974 said that the only valid purpose of a firm is to create a customer. And I think that is a fantastic starting point for any business. However, Jensen and Meckling in 1976, in their paper Theory of the Firm, Managerial Behaviour, Agency Cost and Ownership Structure, argued that the singular goal of the firm was to maximise the returns for shareholders. And this, this philosophy, this ethos, completely has taken over the whole um, of corporate well, the Western corporate culture, uh, particularly in America, but certainly in the UK. It led to the linkage of shareholder maximization to stock-based management compensation. So if the management managed to produce an excellent result for shareholders, they got compensated with more and more stock. Management were effectively paid to deliver shareholder returns with little or no thought for employees or customers. Stock-based compensation was supposed to lead to the real performance of companies improving over time. Between 1960 and 1980, CEO compensation per dollar of net income for the 365 largest Euros corporations fell by 33%. Between 1980 to 1990, CEO compensation per dollar of net earnings doubled. From 1990 to 2000, it quadrupled again. Now, examples of bad practice to maximise shareholder value are things like looting the firm's pension fund, cutting back on workers' benefits, outsourcing productions to foreign countries. And after the coronavirus, that might be looked at um, again. I think it's a questionable practice. Jack Welsh CEO of GE from 19, 1889 to 2001, from 1989 to 2001. That was a good tenure, wasn't it? Um, he He's almost the, the uh, epitome of the CEO who could create shareholder value. But in 2001, he said, on the face of it, shareholder value is the dumbest idea in the world. 
he goes on to say, shareholder value is a result, not a strategy. And this is the point I want you to take on board. Shareholder value is not a strategic goal. Shareholder value is something that, that happens if you get your strategy right. And he says, your main constituencies are your employees, your customers and your products. Roger Martin, in Fixing the Game 2011, argues that to shift the focus of the organisation back to delighting the customer while making an acceptable return for shareholders. Johnson & Johnson had this huge Tylenol um, problem, but basically somebody tampered with a few Tylenol um, packets in some obscure country of the market. Tylenol was like one third of Johnson & Johnson's um, revenues and profits. Huge contributor. And the CEO could have covered it up, but no, he didn't. He recalled every single bottle of Tylenol in the market. He had the um, lids changed so that they were tamper-proof, something that became standard across the industry. And he was completely public about it because he put his customers first, his employees second, and his shareholders last. Apple, Steve Jobs, one of the people I respect most in, in, in corporate life, an amazing man. He said his objective was to make a contribution to the world by making tools for the mind that advance mankind. Nothing to do with shareholder value. He was asked once, what keeps you awake at night? And he said shareholder meetings. He hated them. So I encourage you strongly in putting your strategic plan together, Shift your strategic ob objectives away from simply talking about shareholder value. Don't even think about it as a strategic objective. It is going to be a result that happens if you get your strategy right. Focus on delighting your customers. Nurture, take care of and develop your staff. They're your greatest asset inside your firm. Partner positively with your suppliers and channel partners. And above all, Make excellent products. And if you do that, you get all those right, then you will create shareholder value. But don't set out to try to create shareholder value as a strategic goal.